Hi guys, it's Hayden and today I'm going to be taking you guys along on my recruitment process. I will say that I wanted to be completely transparent with all of you guys and show all the feelings and emotions that I had during the recruitment process, but I could not be more ecstatic with where I ended up, which is kind of a spoiler alert, sorry. Um, but you should continue and watch the whole video to kind of see what the whole process looked like and make you feel not alone during the process. Just know that if you are going through the process that all of your feelings and emotions and expressions and whatnot are 100% valid and don't let anyone take that away from you. I want you guys to watch the rest of the video, so let's get started. So I just got off my orientation Zoom call. My open house round tomorrow is from 8.45 to 10.15. Like, <laughs> Like, that's like the latest time slot, which is so much fun. I mean, I guess it gives me more time to do homework and then I'll probably just like go straight to bed. It's kind of stressful doing this whole rush thing while like starting a bunch of new classes that I don't have a routine yet down for. So like, I'm just kind of all over the place right now. Open house round starts today. Okay, so I have finished with my makeup. It doesn't look done because I haven't put on mascara and the lighting is like so bad. Um, and then I put on earrings and I haven't put on the shirt because I was too worried to like sweat through it <laughs> So I'm waiting till the very last second to put that on Okay, so we just finished our first round Woo! <laughs> Sam's in the background and like I don't know about you, but I feel like it's gonna be hard to pick <laughs> already um, like Everyone was so nice and I feel like for every single person I met there was something that we could like relate on a little bit. I wanted to show the outfit so I wore three different earrings like this. Not that they could even really see that I was wearing my hair down and then I had these bracelets from Amazon, my Pandora ring. I had my Hayden necklace. I think it got like oh yeah there an H necklace. And then this is the recruitment shirt they gave us. I'm like sweating in it, literally pit stain. Um, I put it on um, right before for that exact reason. And then you, they, wouldn't, they didn't see my bottom half, but I was just wearing black leggings. So now I'm gonna go to um, Ellie's room and we're gonna debrief what went on for all of us. So I'm gonna take you guys along on that. What? Like no, we had I mean, so much fun. It's really nervous, racky at first, and you yeah. get all tense. But the girls are like all so nervous. Like, like all they want to do is talk to you. And I love them. And I they're as nervous them. as you are because they want a good pledge class too. So I'm all set up to do rush. I'm waiting for it to begin and this is the second day today i had four houses i've noticed two that i like when they're i talk to more girls because i can get more of a sense of like who they are like for one of them i just talked to one girl for like literally like 15 minutes which is fine for like later rounds but like i literally don't know anything about this sorority like and i'm basing off my opinions off of one person which is just kind of hard because i could get someone that's not good some of my friends actually got to talk to two people in that same one which i think is kind of weird too um, that they got to talk to two and I talked to one, but they had a very different experience than me. And that's the thing is like, I'm gonna be having different experiences than people. They're having different experiences than me. And so I, I just have to know that like wherever I end up, it's like what was supposed to happen. Just like college um, applications and everything else in my life really. Um, so that is the tea with that. I have a bright and early morning tomorrow. So I'm going to go take a shower and then I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I'm getting ready for day three. I have like most of my makeup on. I need to straighten my hair. It's a little crazy right now. Um, I need to put on mascara. I always do that last. I feel like I said that in another vlog or like section of this. But today I have the remaining houses. So I've already seen seven and I have eight today. So then I um, rate them all and yeah, I'm very excited, very nervous. Um, there's some that I know nothing about. So I'm gonna really kind of get a vibe from them today, um, which I'm excited about, so yeah. We are having okay. our daily debrief. As of right now, a lot of us have like similar opinions about them, but we'll see how the rest of it goes. So I just woke up, my hair's a little crazy, but 
my houses are back it's 8 a.m so i'm gonna log on and have my reaction to my schedule okay good dang it some of the ones i really wanted i didn't get back that's fine so i got asked back to 11. the highest that you can get asked back to which is nice um but it's gonna be a long day for me it doesn't my day doesn't start till 10 30 a.m it appears and i go till 9 45. so i'm in the middle of getting ready did a little more makeup today i don't really know today is literally the first round of cuts and so many people i know are already so upset about like which ones they got back which is just kind of sad because i like understand like i've been there and it freaks me out a little bit because you just don't, never know when that's going to happen to you or if it'll happen to you. And you kind of wonder like what they did that like made them not get asked back. So I'm just going to be myself today. And if they don't like that, then that's on them. And I really just need to trust what is going on. Okay, so I just had three. I have one more before lunch. And I feel like today, I feel like so many of the ones that I didn't give a chance yesterday, like I just went to two that I had technically dropped yesterday but I had been asked back to and they went so much better today like I honestly feel like you could just get like a bad luck of the draw or it's really awkward kind of talking about things with people when you're having the same conversation over and over again but I feel like today it went 10 times better and I'm feeling a lot better about like wherever I end up I end up where I'm supposed to I mean I have a long list to go and all the ones that I'm like pretty interested in come a little later so I'm just at this point I'm like good where I'm at and I'm excited so we'll see what happens just finished with round two philanthropy but today went fantastic I have so many that I like today it was such a good day um it stinks because today's Sunday and I don't hear back until Wednesday at four what ones I've gotten asked back to and so uh, the max I can go to is seven. So I put seven down and then I put ranked the four bottoms that I did. The philosophy I have right now, and I should rewatch this if I'm upset on Wednesday, is that I'm going to get dropped by 14 regardless of what happens. Or like really dropped by 13, 14 ish. And so, like, it really shouldn't matter to me when that dropping happens. I'm going to get dropped from 14 anyway, so might as well just have them drop me if they don't like me because obviously I'm not, it's not the right fit for me if that makes sense, you know? I don't know. That's just where I'm at right now. Okay, so I just got back to my room and we're supposed to know our schedules, but apparently the site is down. I It opened at 4 and it's like 4.20. Um, and I didn't open it because I was on Central and I didn't want to open it right away. Otherwise, I would have been on it right away. And apparently only the people that clicked on it at 4 were able to see it. And then since then it's crashed. So Myra just FaceTimed all of us and said that nothing like this has happened before, but she's gonna text us our schedules um, and the links, but it might be a little while until I find out. And it's not gonna be like this big grand reveal because it's gonna be on my phone that I'm gonna be getting the text message. So you're not gonna see my face. I'll let you know how I feel after it though. So I just got a call from Myra and they are sending us directly our first round. So I don't know the rest, but I know I'm going to KD first round, which I really liked them, so I'm happy about that. Um, but I need to like get on the Zoom in like 15 minutes, so I need to be prepared for that. The site has loaded apparently, so I'm gonna log in. Oh shit. Oh, I'm so sad. It's okay, it's okay. I'll survive. So, um, I am currently not doing the best right now. I'm going to be completely honest. I at least look kind of cute. I'll show you the fit. I'm wearing earrings from Amazon, my Pandora ring, jewelry from Amazon, Francesca's necklace, and then I'm like wearing like this little wrap dress. You can't even see, but I'm wearing pants under it. Um, and, but you could only see from here up, so it didn't really matter. And then I like braided my hair. Um... But I'm just having a rough time. I don't have as many options as I thought I was going to have. And I'm just feeling a little defeated. Um, I feel like everyone's not having as amazing an experience as they thought they were going to. And whoever said that Michigan Rush isn't bad lied. It's actually worse than I've heard anybody else's Rush experience be. I'm saying that from a perspective of I've talked to so many people that have had such a hard time. And... Um, 
I know like and I know people that were just like me that went to other schools that had a way better experience than I'm having now so it's really frustrating I mean I could end up exactly where I'm supposed to be and I know that but it's just it's just annoying so oh my gosh how I look like I my eyes are so watery looking um, basically, I just got off the phone with my parents and cried. I just, it's stressful and it's like not a fun process. And I know I've watched a billion of these videos and I know everyone says that. There's like a difference between like crying about like getting dropped from your favorite house and, there, and, and then like actually getting dropped from like half the ones you talk to. It's annoying. And I'm not alone in this. Like a lot of my friends are having a hard time, but that doesn't mean that everyone is and it's just not what I thought it was going to look like for me, and that's what stings. And I really shouldn't be crying over this, but... Okay, so after the day of tears, I... Um, my hair was curlier earlier. It's, like, messed up now, but I, like, did these, like, little braids, and then I curled it. Um, but after the day of tears and sadness, I am just excited now to get back to my houses. I really, really like three of them, so I'm just hoping that's that I get two uh, two out of the three that I like because I end up might having to do intentional single bidding, and that would be a little scary. But I think my conversations went well today. Good morning, you guys. It is almost eight thirty. I have my hair ready and curls. And I'm going to be finding out who I'm going for preference, or who I'm going to for preference. I'm a little nervous, but I feel like who isn't. I'm really a little stressed. Let's see. Whew. It's the two that I wanted. Oh it's the two that I fucking wanted! Um, <laughs> I'm like, what? After all those tears, I'm like, <laughs> stress gone. Pref, fit check. So um, I have my hair curled. You saw my Septon's curlers. I did my makeup. Earrings are from Amazon, and these were gifted to me. A necklace, Francesca. Bracelets, Amazon. These um, two I added to my repertoire today. Um, and I got them from Pattaya. This Pandora ring. And this dress I got from Amazon. It, it looks like this from farther away not like they're literally just gonna see it from here up though but i'm excited and i think it's i hope it goes well so i just finished and um i did my breaking earlier today i was like what am i gonna do and then i had the last one and i was like you know what i know what i'm gonna do um i hope that they want me back too i mean i'd be happy with either or like they were great honestly the conversations today made me really rethink what i thought i was gonna do going into today um but then my heart was just like you know what this one you've liked since the beginning um and if it stood out to you then there was obviously a reason so that's what i decided to do and now we get to wait until tomorrow and find out at 12 p.m or is it a.m no 12 p.m um <laughs> ah, i'm excited and i'm nervous and ah, i literally if I'm in the one that I hope I'm in, I literally think that any of the three girls I had talked to would be like perfect bigs for me. Like they were, they're amazing. They were so nice. Just the conversations were just like easy and authentic and like just so genuine. I don't know. The entire time I haven't had an issue with like authenticity or anything with them. Like they've just, they've really taken what I've said and like liked it. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go hang out with my friends now. It's Becca! We're so excited! We're like going to the bus right now. There's literally gonna be people in the satch, but whatever. And there's literally not anyone. Anyways, um, we're so excited. I feel like all three of us, we have good options regardless of what happens today. So it's gonna be a good day regardless! Oh, we're all gonna count down from 10 together. And then oh.
it's bid day right now. Woo! Woo! And this is my bid day buddy, Nikki. Yay! I love Hayden. Hi, so guys. glad to be an 85. Woo! 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 <laughs> so apparently there's like a sign in front of my door. Oh, 85 Hayden. Woo! It's so cute. So I just got back from bid day and I'm going to show you guys all the things that I got. First off, my Bid day buddy, as you saw in one of the clips, Nikki, she was the sweetest, gave me these little heart glasses. Woo! I also, she gave me this necklace and this Alpha Delta Pi sweater. And then on the back, it's so cute. It says, Mad Happy I'm Home. And then the little hats, which I did not wear because I didn't like how it looked on me, but let's see how it looks. Whatever. I can't get, get it, but it looks like this. And it says, 80 Pi. <laughs> okay, and then I got this little bag that says 80 pie. Um, and then this like broke immediately, but it says hey then, little smiley face. This stood for something and I don't remember what it was, which is kind of bad, but I'll figure it out. Oh yes, let's see these other things. I actually haven't seen these. <gasps> I got a new thing for my phone. 80 pie, boom, boom, baby. And then I got a little sticker of the house. How cute. And then... Ronald McDonald House something, I forget, but our philanthropy! I'm so excited! Oh, there's something else too. Aww, it's a little Ronald McDonald um, keychain. How cute. It looks like it's like a light. Maybe it like beeps. There's a button. I don't know. And then at the house, I made a little 80 pie bracelet. I was supposed to make a jar, but I didn't have enough time and I took too long making my bracelet. Yeah, that's all that's in my bag. So exciting! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and comment what sorority you are in or where you are planning on uh, recruiting at. So what school. I hope you have an amazing day and I love each and every one of you. Mwah!